how model paints. Now, I'm from the days when model paints came in little glass bottles that had a little tin top which said Afix and was 17 pence each. And then, in my mind, modern model paints come in home roll tins, and in my mind, a home roll tin of paint is still 75 pence a tinlet, which, although they're not now, but in my imagination they still are. Anyway, I've searched high and low for a suitable model spray paint, uh, suitable to do 1 16th scale radio control tanks in one go. And for small detail work, I still use home roll tinlets, brush paint camouflage on things like that. I can never get around to doing camouflage with spray paint because it always goes everywhere apart from where it's supposed to go. But for doing a, an overall base coat on a model such as tan, olive or khaki, I could never get used to the home roll sprays because you don't get much for your money in a tin. But what I did find about a year or so ago was a product by a company called Army Painter. Now the blurb on the can reads, the perfect primer for all models and war games miniatures. And it is a primer paint. Um, it's touch dry within a few seconds and it dries to a kind of little bit rough finish so it's ideal for tanks. Um, there are a couple of World War II colours in the range but it doesn't say on the can that it's a World War II colour. On the top of the can you get a kind of guide to what the colour is of the contents and it's ideal for a World War II subject. In this case, it's on the top called Colour Primer Desert Yellow, which is an ideal colour for Africa Core Tan or Ordnance Tan. And it's ideal for painting 1 16th scale or, if you're that way minded, 1 6th scale vehicles. And you get a lot for your money. 400 milliliter can, um, something like this, have a look on eBay because prices do fluctuate. They tend to be between seven and 12 pounds a tin, right across the board, whatever the color. They do all sorts of different colors, mainly for Dungeons and Dragons style war games, things like that. They do some, I think, American Civil War style colors, but for World War II military vehicle painting, you can't really beat this product because it is touch dry literally within seconds and you can work with it literally seconds after you apply it. And um, this one, World War II style, colour primer desert yellow. It's also good enough for painting full size pieces of equipment, repainting German helmets, if that's what you do, repainting ammo boxes, etc. etc. So that's the kind of German colour they do, desert yellow. They also do a good enough colour for British Army kind of khaki green colour, not US Army olive drab, but a more lighter British Army green colour, which is Colour Primer Army Green, don't have the tin, I've used the tin. They also do a colour which is more or less US Army Olive Drab, which is a darker shade of that colour. So they cover the whole board for World War II tanks, although it's not immediately apparent from reading on the, on the actual can. So do a search for it, it's called the Army Painter. Now one tin like this, a 400ml tin like that, will do four 1 16th scale radio control tanks and I mean as, a, as an overall base coat for you to put your camo and your weather and thing like that on. So one tin like that will do four 1 16th scale models. Now bearing in mind this is a kind of darker colour because it's been, it's been weathered and the colour's been torn down a bit. So one 400ml can will do four overall base colours inside out every nook and cranny on four 1 16th scale vehicles and um, your colour primer army green and what I should have done is readjust this focus so you can actually see the top of the can that's colour primer army green that's a kind of British army colour this one all the cans are identical like that army painter it's sold as a, a primer. This is the kind of Africa core colour. Colour primer, desert yellow. Ideal for World War II. Um, so one 400ml can, put that back again. One 400ml can will do four 116 scale models. 
the British the British Army colour kind of comes out looking like that. It's a lighter shade of olive drab. The American colour comes out looking like that. You can see it's more of a US olive drab colour than a British Army colour. So it's ideal. Um, one, get down there, one 400 milliliter can for 116 scale models will do, if I can get all of it, will do, come here, yeah, will do part of one of these underneath top and bottom so one can will do virtually all around a monster like this but few if I can undo this it will do virtually all round a 116 a one six scale model apart from one side so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give that can a bit of a shake up and I'll show you how good it goes on. That's where it ran out the last time. That's the grey the vehicle was painted in. But I'm going to paint it in this tan colour and then hand camo it sometime. And I'm going to paint uh, an old uh, 21st century pack 40 anti tank gun that it pulls. So what I'll do is, I'll give that can a bit of a shake this back on there so what I'm going to do is we shall put a little ball bearing inside give it a bit of a shake we'll break the seal because the, the tops are sealed they're not screw tops as you can see it's just a regular spray can so we'll give that a kind of partial blow So this is how it goes and you may need to do it a couple of times but just bear with me a bit, bit of a shake now as you can see it does a really good job there's no runs in it at all That's it wet. That's it dry after a, a good few months. But as you can see, you don't run. Obviously, I suggest you do it in a ventilated area. Weather outside isn't at its best. Got an old jumper on the on the chair. And quite literally, it dries to a a roughish style colour. Obviously, one coat usually does it. But obviously I need to take a bit more care to do behind those handrails. So one coat is usually enough. You don't need to put multiple coats on it. Go over it three or four times like you have to do with usual normal model paint. It dries, when it's dry, to a flat colour like that. And quite literally, as you can see, It's quite took that really, really well. So it is a really good product. But obviously, you need to do it outside. So this is just a demo on how it covers. And it covers quite well. So that is the Army Painter Colour Primer and in this case it's Desert Yellow 
and if I get these two tanks side by side you can see the difference between the British Army style colour and the difference of the US Army style olive drab so they're all available in the Army Painter range and as I say prices go from 7 to £12 but it is a really good product and I would highly recommend it over the Humbrol spray paint because it is a really colour fast superb product